Hi, do you everyone? My name's Mr. Fruit, and welcome back to Destiny 2. Yeah. Yeah. A warlock, Mr. Fruit, are you feeling okay? Oh, I'm I'm feeling more than okay. I'm feeling tired. That's right, because we hit rank 100 on the season pass already. Lots, lots of bounties. So, so many bounties. But I gotta say, might be my favorite season pass exotic or uh, universal ornaments. Like, look at this warlock, man. Dripped. I've got a very fun strand build I want to show you today, which is pretty much exclusively why I've been playing Warlock, because I wanted to use this build, because it's so much fun. Because it focuses on Osteostriga, and I love Osteostriga. And yes, you can't say it any other way, it's Osteostriga. The build, in a nutshell, is insane. It's damage on damage, thanks to Osteostriga, necrotic grips, everything is un unraveled or suspended or exploded. It's fantastic. This is where we tie everything in. We start with the necrotic grips. Damaging combatants poisons them, dealing increased damage over time. Defeating the poison combatant spreads the condition. Well, let me introduce you to Osteostriga. Fires a stream of sentient toxic projectiles that track the targeted enemy, and landing a final blow on multiple versions triggers a burst that poisons nearby targets. So Osteostriga is hitting things and poisoning everything, meanwhile procking up the necrotic grips, which is hitting and poisoning everything. And then this is where the, the key, well, you need the Warlock exotic, so of course that's the important part about the but you go Shackle Grenade, because Weaver's called, uh, we don't really care. But there's no other aspect, so in the future, if you have a different aspect, feel free to swap this out. But Mind Spun Invocation. Your Grapple, Shackle, and Threggling Grenades have enhanced functionality. functionality. I don't know where I put the B in there. Because if we hold our Shackle Grenade, we activate Weaver's Trance. Final Blows while Weaver's Trance is active, create a suspending detonation. Suck in your grenade, get the buff, kill a thing, they're suspended, and then everything hit by that are suspended. Because we have Threat of Mind, defeating suspended targets, grant class ability energy, which is important because of some armor mods I'll show. Damaging targets with a tangle grants melee energy. And this is, we're going to be spawning plenty of tangles, so if you want melee energy, you'll get plenty of it. Dealing damage generates grenade energy with Threat of Generation, which like every strand build is running because it, I'm surprised if it's not going to get tweaked. It's pretty insane procs off all damage. So as you can imagine, having Osteostriga and then the Grotter Grips constantly doing damage across everything and spreading that like you get your grenade back like bada bing bada boom. And then Threat of Continuity, suspend, unravel, and sever effects applied to targets have increased duration, which is key because we want to be doing so much suspending. Now, you also want to use your needle, your arcane needle melee, because it unravels them. And when they take additional damage, they create unraveled projectiles that seek on nearby targets. So essentially, you melee a dude, absorb your grenade, shoot that one guy, and then everything spreads everywhere, and it's great. For a quick look at the build here, some of the artifact perks matter as well. We've got Kinetic Siphon for Osteostriga, Orbs of Power creation. Board Strand Dual Siphon because... Well, we're mainly, it's it's either Osteostriga or I have a Void Weapons on because of an Artifact Burger, which I'll get to. Volatile Flow, picking up an Orb Power, grants you Void Weapons Volatile Rounds. So yeah, sure, throw Volatile in there as well. Why not? This is all the, uh, the other Artifact Perks you're going to take. Big ones and Tangler, destroying a Tangle, the Strain Weapon, suspends target damage by the Explosion. This won't be mattering for me because I'm not using a Strain Weapon, but super easy to flex in if you want to do that. Same thing, you could go with Rapid Final Blows of the Strain Weapon, grant your weapon Unraveling Rounds, but again, I'm not using a Strain Weapon. Super easy to flex on them. Bricks from Beyond, super nice defeating a powerful combatant with a Void Weapon, has a chance to generate heavy ammo for you and your teammates. I'm using a heavy Void. Threaded Blast again could be neat. I have Medieval Champion because I like to use Glaives a whole bunch. Not in this build specifically, but for the most part, I don't really change the artifact perks on my Warlock. You got Focusing Strike, granting class ability when you damage with a melee. You have three melee charges, so comes back pretty easy and then also font of vigor so we get extra melee charge when we have armor charge charged up it's real nice void reserves because why not you can put resistances here for whatever activity you're doing stacks on stacks for extra armor charges and actually this shouldn't be here we put kinetic weapon surge because again most of the time we're going to be using osteostriga and you want to get a kill with osteostriga to start actually activating every but everything else in this build empowered finish if you're not charged up with light super easy just finish somebody for quick charge bonus to recovery and reduces grenade cooldown when using your class ability could use multiple bombers you don't have to but that's why you want to use your rift anyway just to get grenade back quicker anywho also, I'm just using the Wilder Flight and the Retrofit Escapade. Escapade. Super fun. You can pretty much use whatever else, but Ostostriga with the other stuff are the main things. You can even change out some of the armor mods. Not all of them are super, you know, pertinent. And I know you're probably like, this is, this is strange, dude. What's going on? Mr. Fruit is one played on Warlock and two breaking down a PvE build for me? What the fudge? Yeah, this is some real Twilight Zone stuff. Let me tell you. Check out this red border. It's going to be insane. Okay. 
<laughs> Can we talk about these new Lost Sectors on Niamuna? So sick. These are what I've always thought Lost Sectors were going to be like, like at the start of D2. You guys haven't done them. You're in for a treat. This is just one of them. The add density in this one alone, so sick. Anyway, can't wait to show you guys this. So we're going to start. Bop. Which consume the grenade, get some class ability, hit him with a melee, then he dies, suspending that. And then he dies. And then so on and so forth. Now this is an ad clearing machine. Is this DPS insane? No. But you'll see, damage them, boom, damage them, unravel. It also lasts for 25 seconds. So as you can see here, doesn't matter, you just keep going. Oh, and then what's that? Oh no, Weaver's, Weaver's Trance, oh, it just ran out. I have another grenade. Boom, get some more grenade energy back, throw a melee, get them unraveled, throw over there, and then boom, it's just everything just keeps exploding. I even suspended somebody up there, you can see the damage ticking over time. If anyone's close to that, bop, you're dead. So look at this. It's just this easy. And, just like that, Weaver's Trance, five seconds left. Oh no, whatever will I do? How about consume this other grenade I got? That sounds like a great idea. I'm gonna unravel that fella, and he'll explode, and then everything will go everywhere, and we'll hit you. So, the main thing is, again, it's all about that, the Weaver's Trance killing something, and then a suspending explosion. So again, you kill something while in Weaver's Trance, doesn't matter by way, it, it could be from my Void SMG, it can be from whatever. They're gonna explode, anything in the immediate area is gonna get suspended, rinse, repeat, it goes off any damage, so like, again, like the Necrotic Grips damage, the, the burn from Osteostriga, literally anything. And this is all you have to do, it's the best part, like, my brain is turned off. I hold Q for my grenade, and then I hold left click, and then everything dies. Rinse, repeat, over and over, and it's so much fun. Now, we didn't kill as many things, so, oh, and, well, actually, I just wasted my grenade, so that is sort of embarrassing. Hold on, I'm gonna have to get that back. And then let me tell you about this room, okay? It looks like a normal room, right? Oh, ho, ho, you sweet summer child. Hold on, let me do that real quick. Because the add density in here, orgasmic. Like what? You can say that? That's a thing with, with add density? Oh yes, yes it is, Guardian. We click one button, two button, three button, and then we hold the fourth. And then what do you know? Everybody's gonna get suspended. You get a suspension. You get a suspension. Like I said, we press some buttons, and then we press the other buttons, and then we do the cool dance, and this is it. I could even, well, I just blew up the strand, but I could, I could throw the strand, and that could activate all this. It's magical. At some point, you're just like, how did I even suspend all of you? I don't even remember doing that, and you don't need to remember doing that. And the thing, too, is it's like, wow, I... I swear I've been killing lots of you guys. Are you ever going to stop? Oh, the show has but just begun, my friends. Now, Scorpius turrets, I don't think you can actually suspend those. There are some enemies. I'm really upset the Goliath tanks don't have a suspend animation. I'm Just think about it. Imagine you suspend the Goliath tank, and then he kind of spins his little thrusters like, wee, 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 wee. You know, he's like, put me down. Just saying, they feel free to implement that. They haven't, but, you know, it's feel free. I, I allow you to use the idea, Bungie. Now, I think... I don't, I, for all I know, I don't know. There could be more ads in a second. Now, see, I can actually just... R remember that we have other guns in this one, huh? You know? Oh, I want to pump a little bit more damage? Oh, I can do that. Boom. There's more things. Now, granted, boom, you clear the room. Like, oh, sweet. Bam! Refilled. Like, oh, I'm going to clear the room. Bam! Refilled. Kept going. Super fun. Little space. Secondly, again, look at this cool little area. It's so much fun. And again, we're not done. We're gonna move on to the last area, which this part will, it feels like will be the nightmare for Master and Legendary Lost Vectors. You know the drill. Press your three buttons, hold the fourth, AKA the Ostiostriega, and everything will start to slowly suspend. Now, obviously, again, this isn't like a DPS build. It hurts the boss. I mean, Ostiostriega and you have the rest of the build, but all the stuff that we wanna do, all the suspension happens upon kills and it doesn't, pump mad DPS, but that's not the point. You know, you could swap or do something else for that. No, we're here to suspend. We're here to Weaver's Trance, bro, because boom, oh no, it ran out. Oh, sheesh, I guess I'll just have to click three buttons again. And that's the thing, I don't even have to click the three buttons, but I'm going to do it anyway, because I'm a nice guy. And then ads respawned. Wait, where are the ads? Boom. Bop. Throw. Oh, man, you were supposed to die next to that guy, so you would suspend them. It would have looked cooler that way. You're actually just a little too far away to hit, get hit with the suspend. 
Oh, here we go. Oh, but these guys are pretty. Uh, you, nope. Oof, no. Oof. Ran out of weaver strands there. Ah. See, typically I don't even bother looking. That's essentially, is my grenade back up? I'm just going to consume it, because why not? And that usually works out pretty well for us. But then again, oh no, so see, oh, it's the boss. Oh, wait, more ads. Oh, what the fudge? Wait. <laughs> Hold up. This, I wasn't anticipating this. I mean, it's welcome. Don't get me wrong. More things to kill with my build. I gotta, where did you even come from? I don't know, but you're dead. And you activated a suspend animation, so imagine he was somewhere else. It's just that simple. And you're dead. Hello, mail. Wait, there are more ads. Okay, wait. So I'm telling you, the ad density, I'm about it. No, actually, I want to activate this. Now I get Weaver Strands. But even without it, you still saw it. Just the damage goes everywhere. It spreads like a disease. And that's it. This fun little lost sector. This is one that, like, it's so much cooler than the others. The other ones actually, in fact, have, like, little mechanics. This one didn't have any mechanics, per se. But ad density-wise, I think it's the best. So anyway, that's it. Oh, the other best part about the Lost Sector? All the server things are shootable. Now we're think. Look at that. Destruction. You know? Battlefield who? Frostbite engine what? You know what I'm saying? Oh, sheesh. Wait. Hold that thought. I was going to go to New Lost Sector, but we just so happened upon a stage 3 out of 3 terminal overload. So, say less. I reckon I can make time for this. If I must. <laughs> Really pulled my leg, but you know, do what you gotta do. It's slow and steady work, but my god, do I want those chests. That XP, the weapons, the Neo Muna wrap, give it to me. Plus 20, oh yeah. You know, my friends are busy DPS, I'm like, don't worry guys, I got the ads. And oh boy, do I got the ads. I got the ads and then some, huh? Ads who is what I, ooh. Okay, and again, onto the boss. Not really a DPS build, again, you know, there's, other ones for that. That's not the fun part about this build, okay? So don't judge me. Like day one raid, if I'm warlocking, which I'm not gonna be tightening, but I'd rock this for DPS parts, and then it's like, oh, uh, DPS time, and then swap to, yeah, I don't know. I Look, I don't know the intricacies of warlock that much, right? This is essentially the first warlock build I've ever made, because I'm always playing Titan. But this seems so much fun that I had to, and so I did. Dipping my toes in all the classes. It's a weird feeling, but I do what I must. For my people, even though my people don't need me to do that, that has nothing to do with it. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. Uh, okay, wow, I don't know where that damage came from. Good stuff. Hold up, no, I can help. I can help. I save my super for this. Hold up, ready, and then I just freaking. I'm helping. Now get ready, get ready for the cheese. Get ready for the cheese. Oh my god, get ready for the cheese. Holdy, holdy. Where's the chest? There it is. Grab that one. Grab that one. Go. <laughs> Triple dipping on the chest? Come on now. Don't mind if I do. Garbage guns. Perfect. And bringing it home for the three chest cheese. It's Mr. Fruit. As we head on in here, we find second of the three lost sectors on Niamuna. This one, aesthetically, probably my favorite. So actually, pro tip by the way, I didn't I didn't really hear about this. I'm pretty sure if I don't hurt these these Vex who are just vibing and playing the arcade games, you actually get a cool little bonus at the end here. But you're going to see, look at all these Vex in the arcade room. Look at this place. We're going to pop this. We're going to pop this. And now we begin. Oh, this place is so cool, though. Look at the little Oh, it's so great. Oh, but see, like this. Oh, there it is. That's like the... That's what you dream about right there. Oh, that's the good stuff. Quantum Hobgoblin, we kill you. I grab that. We're going to suspend you, because you can also suspend Hydras. Even that, here, I'll show you. There you go. <laughs> and there we go. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Oh, it practically does, does all the work for you. See, I'm not going to mess with you. You're cool. We're vibing. There, why is there so much cloud accretion in here? I don't really know. Excuse me, coming through. I'm coming to destroy your high score. Arr. Get unraveled, and then everything else is just uh, worse for the. Oh no! 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 Actually, ended up hitting him. I hope that didn't count. I don't know. We'll find out. Whoa! Where am I, Guardian? Now you see those guys up there. Circumstantial Avatar. Well, now you're going to find out why we ended up keeping those hobgoblins alive. 
This is a little pro tip when you need to do the legendary ma ma master, whatever. And granted, the build doesn't really do much in this part of uh, this lost sector, but bear with me. Hold up, let me just. Bah, uh, we'll just destroy you real quick. Like, well, that was an easy lost sector. Hey, chill, chill, chill with it, chill with it. Excuse me. Ah, there's the boss. There he is. Aegon, strategic hydra. Oh, Jesus. This place sucks for any roaming supers or melee builds. Because all he does is fly up there and rain death from above. Doesn't sound very fun, right? Unless, Guardian, we had some way to absolutely melt him. Let's ask this avatar if he knew something. Avatar, do you know something? No, don't do that. No, don't. Don't hide. Oh, what's that? Boom. It gives you the arc cranium thing. So now, even if you didn't have the right build, doesn't even matter. Now we just freaking... Wait, ladies, ladies, ladies. One at a time, please. I, I've got to reload. Guys, you're ruining this for me. I had going to show them the cool, the cool cranium thing, and they were going to pog, and then I was going to be like, yeah, look at me. I know things. <sighs> or my vibe, guys. I'm going to die here, aren't I? Ah! Here we are. As the thrill of that was a washek. That was cool, right? And then there's another one that's super cool and actually has like more mechanics that uh, I'll show you guys next time with some other build. If you have an idea for a build, feel free to link like the dim down below or something or explain it. Might make the return of Mr. Fruit. I've got a challenge for you, and we can do some different builds and whatnot and have some fun. But I wanted to show off this warlock build. There's some titan builds I'll be getting to. Uh, got a couple ready, especially like that, the crazy abandon leap, whatever, infinite suspend strand titan. Super fun. Gonna have that one ready for day one raid. Speaking of which, day one raid, super soon, super stoked. If you want to watch, I'll be streaming that live on Twitch. Myself, Rob, Blue, Joey, Sonic, and One Man lose our minds collectively. We try and complete the day one raid. With that said, thank you much for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic day. I'll talk to you in the next one. Farewell. If you enjoyed this video, why don't you check out this video where I use my Titan to show off the brand new Winter Bite Exotic Glaive. It's so much fun. All the all the Oonga Boonga melee. I'm here for it. So go watch that.